Welcome back guys, this is Unfinished. I am your host, SK Gitonga, and today we're talking about Finance Bill 2024, which takes us to our second question. Do you think bread increases the risk of acquiring diabetes? Let me know what you think in the comments section at y254 Unfinished. It's the you Like you know, bad bad poor. We've been eating bread, I've been eating bread uh, since I was born uh, over 40 years ago. And when I was born, there was bread already. So this association with the diabetes, uh, to me, doesn't make sense at all. It is simply a way of, and we are aware of what is happening. It is simply a way of uh, uh, what I'd call neocolonialism. You see, when uh, in, the, in the 90s, before, before Moy left, he had taken us to World Bank and IMF, we were their slaves. Kibaki came and made things a bit better. Ruto has taken us right back. And as a part of the, what, we, what we call the structural adjustment policies then, one of their recommendations is tax everything these people are using, including bread. And that is a way, a way of bringing our economy down. We know, we know what the foreign powers are good at doing. Simply that is what they are doing. And I'm even glad he's in uh, the, the U.S. This, this week. Is it this week or next week? He should tell his masters, this is an independent country. And we are not going to allow just anything. Just because they have recommended increased taxes. People are, look, people are losing uh, jobs. If those taxes on bread are to be implemented, what will happen to the, the, to the bakeries? What will happen to the people working there? What will happen? There kuna kuna bread yenye ina sukari, kuna bread zero in nini, zero sugar, kuna ile ya watu wenye hawana sukari. So me I can't say ina ina increase you you it's your choice to buy which bread you want. Yeah yeah. It has it has sugar yes, but it's 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 not it doesn't contribute that much to diabetes unless you take bread like so much. So, no, nah, I don't think so. I don't think that's why it's being passed. Yeah. Uh, you know, diabetes, uh, typically me, I don't know much uh, about how it causes that, unless I do the research. But uh, uh, this thing should go back to the people who are, uh, uh, who are manufacturing the bread. So they have to reduce the, cost, the, the sugar that, which is inside the bread. So I don't think that it is most of the bread that are causing the the brown one is, uh, is okay compared to the brown one because the, the brown one doesn't have sugar. So these guys, they should def definitely reduce the, the sugar that they are putting in the bread. I think, I think that is a very nini uh, thought. It is not that, uh, I think it is not that uh, meaningful at all. Diabetes, how many people are diabetic? And even if you go to hospital, the government, the doctors will tell you and what to feed on and what to not, not, not to feed on. So I don't think the issue of diabetes should come there. Mm. It should not come because when you go to hospital, for instance, clinic, the doctor will tell you on the right meal to feed on and other meals not to feed on. The nutrition, we have nutrition uh, practitioners there who are well uh, educated and they advise their, their patients well. So I don't think the issue of diabetes and all those things should be the, 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 the main reason of Nini. So that should not feature in. Yes, but what can, what um, can you never say man, for brown bread, I think nini sidani lakini for the white bread in a corner scary mob, I think in Yes. So for me, yes, in a little diabetes. Uh pana ni I because I it's not I go best na any there's no finding. Hakuna support no you are wakati how watu wa treasury unajua wao wanasema ukitaka kukandamiza mtu unampea jina mbaya kwa mfano mimi nikitaka ku, 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 kumaliza nitakupea jina mbaya ama nikuwekelea kitu ili na watu waseme eh oh, nina nina lakini hakuna there's no medical uh, finding ama research ambayo ina attach mkate na hiyo na sisi tumekula mkate nenda miaka nenda rudi saa hizi ndio wameona kwamba saa mkate inaongeza by by uh, nini inaitwaje your disease uh, 
diabetes whatever <laughs> the thing so in treasury actually hiyo mambo ya mkate kuongeza diabetes imetoka kwa treasury treasury is not the body ambayo you can entitled to find out what is giving people disease and what is not generating disease to people unaona kwa hivyo hiyo usemi imetoka katika katika wale ambao ni zakayo yani wazakayo wale ambao ni watoza ushuru watakandamizaji wa wananchi so wanapo jambo lolote ambalo wanasema wanasema kwa ajili ya kujifaidi si kufaidi wananchi i eat bread but i don't suffer from diabetes yeah so it's not yeah it's it's uh, it's their role to to do that because uh, they are ensuring the safety of the citizens within the country within their state so if uh, if they think or they have uh, the idea that it's uh, it leads to diabetes then it's like coronavirus they said this corona we should do this and this you should follow the the state like yeah yeah maybe because it is sugary most of the white bread yeah bread is manufactured using raw materials and one of the raw materials is wheat which causes diabetes but we've been consuming bread since our childhood the only way to cure or to prevent people from getting affected with diabetes is to look for an, another way of which they can reduce the chances of someone consuming bread to be affected with diabetes other than maybe taxing bread so that to prevent Kenyans from consuming it and getting diabetes that one will not help even if it's causing or it's not causing taxation will never prevent or will never cure disease i think yes it does increase diabetes um, white bread in fact it's, it's huge and uh, i think manufacturing has really changed in the last 10 years not just for us across the globe you know um, europe and the likes especially post covid economies you know um, the manufacturer is trying to compete and uh, there is uh, the entire over capacity from the east you know um the west is really falling behind you know um things like china they can really overproduce at a at a really slightly lower quality but way subsidized prices and the west can't keep up that's why that they have to be controlled they have to be reined in you know these manufacturers and white bread has refined carbohydrates which make you hungry and want to eat more and more and like brown bread which is whole meal but that does not justify um taxation on bread which takes us to our last question do you think kenya is among the least tax paying countries let me know what you think in the comment section it right to five four and finished comparing kenya like other countries now for more like is going to more tax rates than kenya yeah plus si feel kai yo taxi na inafanya kazi na fuck inafanya at the same time yeah. so to ni like to keep ana to ni bila narudi like bila tusaidia juu bado wanaongeza na to ni changes yeah. uh, I've, i've looked at the numbers he was uh, talking about it is true uh, our our tax rate compared to other countries is a bit low but then you have to look at it versus the the standard of life of those countries there are countries where people are paying taxes as much as over 50% of their income but then in those countries education is free housing is free so other social amenities including water and electricity are free so people pay because they know this is what this money is doing as we speak now we have a problem the doctors are not being paid the teachers are not being okay the, the, the salaries are not being increased so even if they collect the taxes and they have not even accounted for what they collected over the last financial year how sure are you we can trust them go to the lower side of nairobi the roads the, the, the pavements are not there anymore and no work is going on they pretend that they want to repair them the even the governor of nairobi nairobi by the way is paying the, the high, collecting the highest amount in terms of taxes where is this money going why is it that we cannot see anything that ha, the, the, the taxes have been utilized to do that is our only problem if ruto start showing us that uh, look here i'm collecting even uh, 
70% of your taxes, but I'm going to give you free education, I'm going to give you free health care, I'm going to give you uh, whatever, whatever other countries that are paying higher taxes are doing, it is okay. Like in years, let him not just look at what they are paying. Let him also tell you what those countries are doing for their citizens. And that is why they are not complaining. Here we are complaining because we are taxed all the time and we don't see anything, including even this university. There are issues with finances. It is supposed to be, the, the, the research programs are supposed to be funded by the government. Uh, I don't, I'm not even sure whether that funding is there anymore. So the question is not about how much you are taxing. The question is, what are you doing with those taxes? And that is our biggest problem. If he answers that one, then we are okay, we will pay taxes. Uh, I think that I don't know of the world, but I think we are paying the highest. <laughs> It's too much at some point. When I talk earlier, the oil prices, it's too much. We're paying a lot. Not at all. Kenya is actually one of the most uh, countries that pay the most tax. If you take in Dubai, it's like 1% tax. Here it's like 30 or something. It's insane. Kenya is like one of the most, actually. Yeah. Too much tax on people. Diabetes. Uh, you know, diabetes, uh, typically me, I don't know much. Uh, about how it costs that, unless I do the research. But uh, uh, this thing should goes back to the people who are, uh, uh, who are manufacturing the bread. So they have to reduce the, cost, the, the sugar that, which is inside the bread. So I don't think that it is most of the bread that are costing there. The brown one is, uh, is okay compared to the brown one, because the, the brown one doesn't have sugar. So these guys, they should def definitely reduce the, the sugar that they are putting in the bread. I don't think. In our country, we don't even pay tax. That's the fun. My country, we don't pay tax. Only just small, small tax to see Mingi. So Kenya, you know, we do that. We go to Nera, to put to. Well, I think uh, President should uh, check on uh, Tom Boyas. Tom Boyas agenda. Ten plan agenda. Which Tom Boya wrote, the late Tom Boya. And again, you should check on how Kibaki, Mwai Kibaki's vision 2030, how he came up and implemented it. And at least we, we, we saw at the end of Kibaki's regime, we saw what is happening. So I think the president should listen to common mwana inchi. Should listen to common mwana inchi and make sure that life is cheap. Because when life is cheap, we will... Uh, and focus also on... Uh, there was some... Uh, let me just be clear here. The issue of bottom-up economic transparency agenda. That was a very good agenda. And the president should ensure that that thing is implemented. The ways of fund, the MSMEs empowering those so that collect tax. The issue of overtaxing, no government has succeeded by overtaxing its citizen. Let's just provide a good environment for doing business for the MSMEs. And through this, the government will, will get more tax and also people will get jobs and they will be able to pay, to pay uh, for, for, for taxes and also increase the living standard of the common one inch. Yes, but what what Kenya um, ni for brown bread, I think nini sidani lakini for the white bread you know kwa scary mob, I think kinaweza. Yes, so for me, yes, kinaweza leta diabetes. La hasha. Uh, Kenya ni nchi ambayo inatoza unajua uwezi kombea Kenya na nchi zile ambazo zile nchi ambazo zimeendeleza. Unajua hata kama unalipa unalipisha ushuru angalie income ya watu unaona income ya watu ni iko katika level gani. Kuna nimesikia hao wanakombea Kenya na nchi ya Amerika unaona life expectation na pia uh, nini how do you call uh, wages ambazo ukikrate hizo wages in US na hapa utapata kwamba huko ziko juu sana kombea na Na, na huku kwa hivyo uwezi sema ati Kenya uh, ina ushuru wake iko chini kwa na nchi zingine hata ukiangalia neighboring countries unaona kama nchi ya, ya Uganda nchi ya Tanzania hapa ambazo tuko neighbor angalia nchi ambayo ime develop kama nchi ya, ya Ghana East Africa ukiangalia trade tasks zao ziko chini sana kwa na ya Kenya kwa hivyo Kenya i, 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 revenue zao wana charge 
juu sana kompia na nchi zingine hasa zile zina develop na zile ambazo pia zime develop ya yeah. yeah Kenya is the least paying tax yes i have just given you example before Palestine and Kenya Palestine is uh, around 25 to 40 Kenya is around 20 so Kenya is now going towards 20% and that's why the increase in whatever bread i don't know the real statistics about this but uh, i can assure you Kenya is not among the least because we've been hearing from our neighbors just our neighbors and they are telling us Kenyans are being taxed high compared to them so there's no way we can say Kenyans is among the least we are on the top of the table in terms of taxation it's all about thinking it's a fact yeah we are one of the least taxed countries and not just worldwide even regionally in our own east african block you know um, we are paying way less taxes and uh, i think the government is making strides as well Um, I think when when taxes go higher people don't look at the full picture of things. Uh, we have to I think when the government was coming in they they sort of flagged us and kama tulipigiwa honi mapema they they kind of warned us you know yo you guys get to work you know it's going to it's going to be easy going but yeah we are one of the least tax countries that's a fact um we've enjoyed that for a very long time which has sort of made us lazy in a way and we kind of you know we expect things ni kama we are owed like the whole world owes us in fact Kenyans have that sort of attitude yeah they feel like your bread should even be free you know we're talking about education being free yeah education is free in our country when they talk about healthcare they're working on it you know uh, the, the bills and the things the government is working on those kinds of things you know free housing yeah it's coming up with those kinds of ideas so when when you tell me you're increasing tax so you can make these services more available to everyone i think yo I'm behind that any day I agree that Kenya is among the least tax paying countries worldwide because we do have countries that pay up to 50% of their income to taxes but that also means that they provided with free water free housing and electricity so if the government probably wants to add taxes it should try and make some services free like um hospitals and education we have come to the end of the show thank you for watching i am your host SK Gitonga see you next time